Hello everybody, welcome back. This will be my third update to lip service. It is a year long rolling project pan where you try to work through your lip products. I was able to finish two of my lip products. This was that Franken lipstick. It is completely done. It was a berry. I really did enjoy it, but I was so glad to be done with it. And then I finished my Grande Lips. I took out as much as I could. My red and berries, they changed the color of it, but I don't know that it really plumped anything. I didn't always fill it, but I am glad to be done with it. I did like the shine it gave. This is from Clean Color. It is their Rain Lipstick in Berry Dream. I lost the tip of it when it got smashed against the cap, but I have been wearing this. It's a lot more pinky purple than I anticipated, so I do a little bit and maybe put a lip gloss on top if I feel my lips have gotten dry. But it's a very pow in your face lip color. So I feel a little goes a long way. The Milani Power Lip Lasting and Moisturizing Gloss Stain in Red Control. I don't like this. It's a beautiful beautiful red but it does not dry down to a stain it's hard to get a good application of it with the brush because this is the and it doesn't apply nicely in one coat it's a you have to work me multiple times so I don't know what to do with this. And I know there's not a lot of product in here. So part of me is just like, well, maybe, you know, try to find a different way to use it. But it's not great. I don't know if the other colors will be better because they're not a vibrant red. I still have the Sephora Gel Gloss Ultra Brilliant Ultra Shine Lip Gel. There is a window in it right here. It's a beautiful shade. I do like it. I apply it on top of products. Where else are we at? Oh, yep. Yeah. The Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Shine with Hyaluronic Acid in Radiant Rose. This is not a pink for my lips, so sometimes I just apply a little bit and blot, blot, and pucker my lips and move them around just to shear out the product and just to give me a little bit of shine and moisture, but the packaging is garbage. Like, I love how big this is because it just goes swipe right over your lip. But the tube, I've said before, is too little for this to come out without... You have to be gentle because I've flung it out, pulled it out too hard, and I've gotten the lip gloss on me. But I do... Let's see. Here we go. As you can see... You can see my brush moving in there. So, there's not a lot, you know, I've used quite a bit of it, but it's still here. And then because I had used up two products, I moved two more in. This is from... L'Oreal, this is their Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. This was part of the Le Chocolats line, and this one is in Bittersweet. It smells amazing. 
This is the shade. It's not the best. It makes my lips look like I've smoked all my life. Like they get darker because of a flame being so close to them. But I've been using this. I will line with it. And then I will put my nude Patrick Star MAC in the middle. Go like that and it'll blend and I'll put a gloss on top. And it looks really pretty. I've worn it in several videos. But that's that. And then I moved in the Glam Glow Plump Rages Matte Lip Treatment. And it has such a neat package. It has neat packaging. You twist to get the stopper out. The stopper. The wand. I didn't notice that it plumped my lips at all. I didn't notice that this was matte. It did leave a little shine behind. But I had to DNF this because it dried out my lips. And I've noticed that from all of the plump rages. They're like plump pout from Glam Glow. Their lip products are not great. At least for me. And it dries out my upper lip. And it's like it's gone 73 levels below. That That's how dry it is. Because you can't, you put a product on top and it's not adding moisture. Moisture is not replenishing right away. You have to actually work at it. And thankfully, I figured it out <laughs> in time to have only dried them out a little bit so a few days of a really moisturizing Delanage lip sleeping mask did wonders so no to any of the glam glow lip products and so because that one was no good I pulled in the Walgreens chap aid it's just a chapstick This is what I have left. And I don't even know if it's that because it may have been part of the plastic. But I pulled that in. So hopefully that one will be gone and I can pull in a new one. Maybe I'll figure out what to do with that Milani lip. Power lip. Lip stain. If you guys have any clue of what to do about that, please let me know in the comments below. All right, I want to thank you guys for viewing. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I would love to have you. And if you've already subscribed, thank you very much. I want you guys to be safe, be well. Peace.